seven straight wins for Ronnie Dyla's side. This is beat on. And he goes, route one, and it might well work. It's Lee Griffiths! And 35 seconds into the game, Lee Griffiths strikes to give Celtic the earliest of leads. And it was a ball straight over the top, near beat on, splitting the St Johnson defence right through the middle of the back four. Griffiths on hand, providing the movement and the precise finish to knock it under Manus for his eighth goal of the season. And that's four in his last five games. Brown turns, beat on, it's nicely done from Armstrong to Griffiths to Johansson and they've got their second. It's brilliantly worked from Celtic and they're 2-0 up, seven minutes into the second half. Armstrong to Griffiths to Johansson, the ball never touched the deck. Johansson taking it on the chest, then the left foot, and then the right foot volley to finish it off. And it's such fluid play from Celtic. And the league leaders go 2-0 up. That's three in his last three games for Johansson. Scobie, he's away from his man now. Scobie across, Kane's front post. Oh, and it drops for O'Halloran. And it's game on at McDermott Park. Michael O'Halloran with the goal that ends Craig Gordon's clean sheet record. Kane got a touch at the front post. That forced the save from Craig Gordon, who had gone 800 minutes without conceding a goal. But O'Halloran breaks that. Nadir Chifchi. Inside three minutes, gives Dundee United an early lead with his 11th goal of the season, drilled hard and low past Craig Sampson. Eremenko, Pascali was attacking it. Oh, and it's McGuinness! Josh McGuinness equalises. Just 10 minutes played, both sides have scored. Eremenko's free kick, Morris got ahead to it. And in slid Josh McGuinness for his fifth of the season. And here, he'll have too much pace for Pascali. Erskine, back to Henry Anier. And he scores his first goal for Dundee United. Henry Anier restores Dundee United's advantage. Klingon to the feet of Johnson, who was coming backwards. Klingon again, good ball, Obadai. And he will look to use his pace. He's done really well, Obadai. Johnson's in there, and it trickles past Ciersniak. Kilmarnock are level once more, and Obadai Deserves so much praise to get that ball back to Johnson, who finished well. Sammy Klingon! Oh, he's done it! Surely the winning goal from Sammy Klingon! And look what it means to Gary Locke. Klingon curling it over the head of Dylan. Williams to Shinny. Christie nicely back to Shinny. And here's Tanzi! Oh, he's found the back of the net! Greg Tanzi inside three minutes. The man who scored the winner from the penalty spot here in October has done it again. Side footed past Ridgers. Shinny towards Christie. Nick Ross keeps it alive. Asked a lot of Raven, but he's done well here. Raven through to Christie, sizes up the finish and makes it 2-0 to Inverness. And it's Ryan Christie who was sent off here in October. 
Malin's corner. It's Goodwin! Perhaps there's life left in St Mirren still. Jim Goodwin with his first goal since September 2012. 2-1. Harkins looking to make the difference for Dundee. Whiten, Harkins, it's still Gary Harkins, steadies himself and puts it on a plate for Paul McGowan. And Dundee have snatched all three points as they make a move into the top six in the Scottish Premiership. A dramatic late finish at Dens. Paul Quinn, the Ross County captain, this game will mean so much to him. Former Motherwell player, means so much to both sides. Points very precious at the bottom of the table. And this is Gardine, couldn't quite find Boyce. Woods gets it back and it's Woods on the volley! A spectacular opener from Martin Woods. His first goal in a Ross County jersey. And it is a hugely important strike. Really good link up between Woods and Devita. And just look at the finish. Looks like it will be Connor Grant. Oh, it's brilliant from Connor Grant. The 19 year old debutant on loan from Everton. And what an impact on his debut. Curling the ball beyond Brown. Fraser leaves it for Devita, and there's Quinn! And it's the former Motherwell man who has got Ross County back ahead. Motherwell, we're only level for five minutes, and Paul Quinn is the man who has done it. Fraser to Gardine. Turns well away from Lasley. Gardine's ball to the back post. Met by Rafael De Vita. It's a stunning volley. Ross County are 3-1 up. And will that be enough for them to hang on to the precious three points? Ian Barraclough looks on, dismayed at his sights collapse. Grant lofting it in and Kerr's header. It's not over yet. Fraser Kerr makes it 3-2. In off the underside of the bar. Motherwell are still fighting. McLean, another chance to start in the Aberdeen lineup. Logan, now to McGinn, there's Rooney. It comes off Ziggy Gordon and touched in by Andrew Considine for a rare goal. And Aberdeen are off to a quick start at New Douglas Park. McGinn's cross, Rooney darted front post. It just hit Ziggy Gordon. Michael McGovern actually did really well to keep the first effort out. And all he could do, though, was palm it into the path of the onrushing Andrew Considine, who scores for the first time since early October. McKinnon, Gordon. Just colliding with his own man there, Grant Gillespie. And now McGinn can come away. Seemingly unchallenged here. Niall McGinn, he's still going, chased by Routledge. And it's into Ryan Jack! And Aberdeen have their second goal. Two in the space of two minutes. And it's Ryan Jack who made a brilliant burst. You can see him in your picture, bursting in made the run all the way from his own half. McGinn, who picked up the ball almost in his own box. It's a counter-attack of the highest quality from Aberdeen. And they lead 2-0 after just eight minutes. Here's McGinn. Big chance for number three. And an emphatic finish from Niall McGinn. Aberdeen absolutely cruising now. In fairness, they've been comfortable since the opening 10 minutes when they went two up. Niall McGinn adds the gloss to the performance.